Okay, um, I want to go over uh, some of these comments. I'm going to say the best for last, okay? First of all, let me address Kyle Adams. He says, I am a flat earther and I am a latter day saint. I do not believe this earth is a planet or anything like any of the luminaries we see in the sky. We believe God showed Moses every particle of this earth and he very clearly described the earth as flat. It seems you have misunderstood quite a few things about our doctrine. I would be more than happy to talk with you sometime. Okay, so let me see if I get this right. A Latter-day Saint is a Mormon. And Mormons believe that you, when you die, you will be inherited a new, your own earth. Okay, your own world. You'll be the God of that world, just like Jesus is the God of this world. You're going to be the God of an, your own planet. Okay, and um, women will be... Uh, the mother of that planet, and they will have spiritual babies. Okay, and then if you're a Mormon, you go to the highest part of heaven. If you're just a Christian, you're kind of like a second tier level. And then, uh, of course, if you don't believe in anything at all and you're just wicked, you come back as a black person. All right. So uh, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, um, listen, I've had Mormons come to my house. I've had them in my living room. Not a few, many Mormons sit in my living room. I've had them come to my door. I've met them at parks and I've had many conversations and I have relation that are Mormons. So I'm very familiar with what Mormons believe. All right. And this idea that a Mormon could be a flat earther is ridiculous. It's not possible. There's not a single Mormon flat earther in the world. And if you claim to be one, you're just a liar. Okay. If you, I'd like to leave the window open for the possibility that you are absolutely as ignorant as it gets when it comes to the Mormon religion. All right. Either way, I will be more than happy to continue this converse, conversation with you okay this is almost like a joke here okay and uh let's go here one more comment uh solo cat 1980 says dinosaurs are part of the jesuit biological evolution of fairy tale introduced sometime after the cosmological heliocentric evolution fairy tale they scale up the skeletons of real animals into giant plastic bones in the museums, passed off as real. When giant bones are found belonging to giant people, the Jesuit Smithsonian swoops in and takes over the dig site. The giant bones are taken away, and a cover story of a dinosaur bone discovery is manufactured. They can't allow the scripture to be proven true in the eyes of the public. Okay. I'm not totally disagreeing with what you're saying. However... Uh, there's a big problem here. You're denying that they're finding these dinosaur bones in the ground. There's not a, a few. There's a lot of them. It's ridiculous. Why would you say that, that they're not true? Unless you know you're you're uh, driving you know you're driving some sort of agenda against the Bible. It doesn't make sense for a, a true man of God, to reject dinosaur bones that are being found in the Bible because they are being found, and it's ridiculous to say they're not, and they're, the evidence is overwhelming. Not only that, the Bible completely supports this idea of dinosaur bones. All right, so if we go, if we go look at the Jackson Chameleon, very simple. All right, just like I described in that video, I'm sure. But you notice here the Jackson Chameleon is, it's got the three horns. You notice the, the spine, all right, and the tail and all that sort of stuff, all right? They're sort of, they're small. Well, the dinosaur bones are fine and are big. Yeah, no kidding. It's, you know, as we read here in 
2 Peter 2 about the old world, right? The old world that was before the flood and spared not the old world, but saved Noah and the eighth person. All right, a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the water or be, upon the world of the ungodly. So in the old world, men were living much, much longer, right? Um, let's take uh, <clears throat> let's take Adam, for example. He lived to be 930 years. All these people before the flood were living hundreds and hundreds of years. Okay, they were given every opportunity to do it themselves without God, and they screwed it up big time. All right, and so the flood came in and and um, destroyed them all. And God saved eight people out of that. So, uh, if Adam and all these men, all these people were living hundreds of years old, animals would have been living much longer as well. All right. So, if we take a look at Triceratops. Triceratops. Let's do it this way. So we can just look at the bones. All right. So you notice they got the three horns, just like the Jackson chameleon. It's got the, you know, the back and the tail and everything. It's just a bigger version of the Jackson chameleon. Bone for bone, it's the same as the Jackson chameleon. Now, why are these bones bigger than modern-day Jackson chameleons? Well, obviously, like I just mentioned, everybody was living much longer, including animals and creatures. And creatures, uh, these um, reptiles, never stop growing in size. So they eat. more. The more and more they eat, the longer they live, the more they eat, the bigger they're going to get. That's why there are these humongous bones. I mean... Humongous. They're not the size of the Sears Tower. All right. It's not. It's and they're not all this big. They, they just pull out the big ones because they're the ones that are the most. Um, the, the ones that uh, are the coolest. Right. Um, so. It just makes sense that if these creatures are living much longer. It, it, as the Bible says, Adam lived 930 years, and all these people are living hundreds and hundreds of years, and animals and creatures, they had to have been living much longer as well. If that's all true, then we would find evidence of that in the ground, and we would have a fossil record of it, and we do. And these creatures that they find, these bones, they're not, they're, it's not creatures that just fell over and died and sunk into the dirt these were buried quickly in a flood all right and then sometimes obviously they'll uh, pull out these uh, bones and they won't have a complete they won't have all the bones so they'll use these plastic um, you know fixtures or what have you that to help complete the skeleton so people can go and look at them and give them give them an idea what they look like right so I can understand that, um, but you'd notice that they got the three the three horns and the the back plate behind their head. It's everything is bone for bone the same as the Jackson chameleon. All right, and then of course you can go the T Rex and see um, they are bone for bone the same as the brown basilisk lizard all right uh, the only difference is these guys are smaller all right so living before the flood they would have grown much bigger all right pretty simple stuff and why so why are you denying that why are you saying it's all fake you know you, uh, when this obviously supports the bible i don't understand it myself but um that's my opinion, I think I appreciate your opinions and so forth. Okay, so Davy Crockett, he says, Cointel Pro, a video proving they faked the moon landings and making it about flat Earth and literally calling everyone idiots at the end. Uh, I was probably just talking to you, Davy. So Cointel Pro, a video proving they faked the moon landing and making a video about the Earth being flat. So this is brilliant here. You got. Two comments basically saying the same thing. T 
to me, this looks like you're on some sort of a operation you're of your own. You got your own agenda and you are, uh, and get you got your own operation going. So this is this is brilliant. COINTEL Pro um, is uh, you know uh, let me just read this here. COINTEL Pro um, derived from counterintelligence program, series of covert and illegal projects conducted by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI) aimed at surveilling, infiltrating, discrediting, and disrupting domestic American political organizations. All right, so um, so obviously, if you watch this video, for example, um, it's pretty obvious that they're faking going to the moon. Okay, so you got to start with that. Man, if, if you can't accept that, then forget the rest, <laughs> right? But... I just use that as a, one of many examples to show that the, the earth is flat, just like the Bible says. And you have to sort of, in, in my opinion, you have to take steps. If you can't get around this fact that they fake going to the moon, then forget about flat earth. And he called me counterintelligence pro, or whatever that means. I don't know. But it's interesting because... At the time, in 2013, when I was putting out this video, I was the only one. It, what, I wasn't being paid by nobody. I, I received no money from anybody to do these videos. I'm just sharing what I believe. And so you're trying to make this out to be an FBI operation. Well... You're just lying, Davey. I know better. I was there when I was... I know the environment at the time when this was going on. And you're not being honest when you make these sort of comments. It's as if you have your own agenda. You're on your own operation. And... Uh, you know, you're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest in your comments. And I just want to share that with you. It's This is unbelievable. Now, you could argue that maybe some of that is going on now, but it wasn't going on in 2013 because I was the one that made that video. I'm the one that pieced together those thoughts and ideas. And I, at the time, I felt like I was pretty much all alone doing it. Uh, so, anyways, I just want to share that with you. Uh, it's unbelievable that somebody would be so ignorant and just, you know, what is it, nine years later, come up with this? Uh, it's remarkable. Anyway, I just want to share all that with you.